Okay, let's be honest, the only video game music that can give Mario a run for its money is Zelda. <laughs> music goes so hard, it's even heavier than Metallica. Written by Koji Kondo, the music of Zelda provides the perfect soundtrack for Link on his quest against the evil Ganondorf. This video will break down the title theme using music theory to see what makes this song great. We'll be talking about Andalusian cadences, chordal harmony, secondary dominance, negative harmony, and even some metal chugging. Now this is crazy. You can learn music theory for free at my Patreon page below. This week, I'm beginning a new series called Riff Lord Bootcamp. Super excited about this. As we all know, James Hetfield is king of metal because of his riffing power. Patreon, you get access to all of my courses, tabs, and even Discord. It's where you can hang out and ask any question about what you're struggling with on guitar. Now let's listen to a little bit of this Zelda main theme. I can totally hear a metal arrangement of this. In fact, I bet a lot of you have a favorite metal arrangement of this, and I probably haven't heard it, so post it down in the comments. Let me check it out. There's the main theme. Of like the march like feel. Lap two. That's different than the first time. Whoa. First thing I want to mention is the key center when you're analyzing a piece of music. That's step one, and I'm tuned down one half step on guitar here, and we're in the key of B minor. The reason I did that half step down tuning, just like what Metallica does, is because then it makes it easier to understand this piece, which is really in the key of B flat. We don't do flats as guitar players. <laughs> you could think about where we're at right now uh, as being the key of D major, or B minor, that's two sharps on the circle of fifths. Now this morning I transcribed the main melody because I want to draw your attention to a few things. Here in bar one, we essentially have a, a B major chord being outlined. The melody starts on the root down to the fifth, and then it makes a climb up to the fifth degree. Now in bar two, something crazy happens. We go to an A major chord out of nowhere, which isn't in the key of B major. So we now we have uh, this figure. And you could think of this as like a negative harmony move. So we started in B major, and then we went to B minor. That's a negative harmony thing. Or you can think about it as being modal mixture, where you keep the same root, but then change the modal quality. Bar three also is a complete violation of the key signature. There's no such thing as G major in the key of B, right? So in B major, you have B major, C sharp minor, D sharp minor, E major, F sharp major, G sharp minor, A sharp diminished. What the hell is a G chord doing here? This section of the melody sounds like this. Heading in to the D major here, which shadows something interesting about to come. Check this out, a flat two chord. We have C major in the key of B, which playing those two sounds together gives you that Phrygian sort of tonality. Or you can think about this as a little Lydian detour. It's a beautiful sequence happening here, which means we're playing the same melodic pattern or shape on different pitch levels. Now in bar six, we finally get back to our B minor root. Before going into 
a five of five chord. Now, what the hell is a five of five chord? That's when you go up a fifth from the fifth. So if you're in B, one, two, three, four, five, that's F sharp, that's the five, but then we're taking the five from the five. So from F sharp, you have F sharp, G sharp, A sharp, B, C sharp is that five of five chord. And when you resolve that to the five, it sounds really good. So if we're, let's say we're in B minor here, right? B minor or B major works, but it sounds cooler in B minor. So if you have B minor, then we're gonna go to C sharp major from there, and then resolve that to our five chord F sharp. And then you can go back to the one. Brilliant. Mark of any good composition is repetition and development. So in lap two, we get the same thing with some changes. It starts out with the same melody in bar one, two, and three is where we see a change. Instead of jumping up to that D major, we do a full Andalusian cadence progression, which an Andalusian cadence, we need to talk about because this is one of the most important progressions in all of music. It's B minor or B major, and then heading down to A, G, and F sharp. This has origins in Spain. From, it's called the Andalusian Cadence because of the Andalusian region in Spain. And you'll hear this in the music of Bach and, of course, uh, in flamenco guitar. The B diminished chord here goes so hard. It's also a great arpeggio workout to practice. You have F, B, D, F, B, D, F. So this is what's called a secondary diminished seventh chord. So in the first lap, we had that secondary dominant, the C sharp going to the five F sharp. This time we're gonna sub out the C sharp for this B diminished. So we get that sound and that moves up nicely to the F sharp or the five. And the reason that works is because with a diminished chord, any one of your four notes can be resolved up a half step to sound good. So in this case, that F note resolves up a half step to the root of the five chord F sharp. Brilliant work. Now there's something else going on here I wanna draw your attention to that happens right at the beginning of the piece. That's something we call quartal harmony, a really interesting sound built on fourths instead of thirds. Normally, in Western music, we get chords that are built in thirds, right? All that means is like if you take the alphabet, let's say for simplicity, if you take A and you go up two notes, A, B, C, in this case, C sharp, that's how we build chords. There's third relationships. That's what we're used to hearing. But this chord is in force. So we have C sharp to F sharp. That's a fourth. And then F sharp to B, which is another fourth. And this sounds wicked cool. Music of Zelda is an absolute masterpiece. You hear the story unfold with each chord, melody, and rhythm. Learn how to tell a story with your own music by joining Patreon below. And a community of shredders trying to hit level 666. I've decided that this year, 2024, is the year I will become a guitar god. Much like Link, I'm on a quest for greatness. Till next time, shred till you're dead.